Hello, today I'm going to show you how you, you can create your first project using Microsoft Project for the web. It's very easy. You just have to click on new blank project and you will find yourself in this part of the screen. Before do anything like creating tasks or something else, give your project a name. To do that, here on the untitled project, which is, which is given name to any new project created, you should click and you will uh, see that on this part of the screen, I can, this is the place, uh, rename my project or give my project a name. So I will give it my first project for the web. And you can see that here is a place where you can define a project manager, but I will skip it for now. I will explain it uh, somewhere in the future. How can you do it? And now I'm going to show you that what is very important besides give, give, uh, giving your project a name. This is the def uh, defining of a start date, when your project is planned to be started, because the, uh, depends on this date, uh, the whole schedule will be built. So I'm going to click on start. I'm going to choose, let's say, 2nd of August. And this is my project start date. Here you can find uh, some useful information which are be fulfilled when your project will be built and when you will make some uh, progress. First of all, here is the uh, calculated finish date, here is the whole duration, here is the percentage of completeness, here is the total effort in hours, the completed effort in hours, and remaining effort in hours. But for now, this is all what I can do and I will do. Now I will click on, I will close this screen and be aware once again. There is no save button. When you click someone and enter something and enter something, it is already saved. So if I go back here, okay, I will see here that my first project for the web is already saved. Let's uh, 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 let's uh, uh, say in this way, it's saved somewhere in the cloud, and I can go back by clicking on this name. Now I will start to build my schedule. First of all, as you can see, I have some default uh, columns here, which I can arrange as I want. But let for, for this, let, let me show you for this example, what you can do. For example, quick look, which I will explain in, in the future what, what does it mean. I don't need it now. So I will click on this error and I will say hide column. Of course, I have here assigned to, if I want to assign uh, this uh, 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 the, a particular task to someone, I have duration, but I also can have, let's say, depends on. You can see a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of uh, fields, which uh, I will explain in my next video. But for now on, let's just build a very straightforward and a simple, and a simple uh, project. So for this, I will need depends on. And I will explain what does it mean in a second. Okay. Now I have everything what I need. I don't need uh, assign to because I'm not going with this simple project assign any task to anyone for now. Okay, hide column and I have duration depends on. Okay, now I can click here and I will give my task name first task. I will hit enter second task third task, and I will set milestone. Okay, now I can click here duration. Let's say that my first task will be one day, uh, will have one day duration, second will have two days, third will have three days, and milestone, as we know, doesn't have duration. So to mark some task as a milestone, uh, you should put zero in duration. Okay, that's it. Okay, 
but I want to connect those, uh, uh, those tasks. So I will say that my second task depends on first task, my third task depends on second task, and my milestone depends on third task. To do that, I will go to depends on field, and I can, first of all, hit just number one, which will give me uh, 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 give me uh, uh, a choice about first task. I can just also type F, and I will have first task. Let's say, and uh, uh, let's say that th that's it. Let's say that my uh, uh, third task depends on uh, second task, and I will click now T, and I will have all tasks which have a T later, a letter in uh, their name. So I will say task, second task, I will uh, choose second task. And now I can do uh, 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 also that on uh, milestone, and I will say that my milestone depends on first tasks, first task, second task, and third task. And I built my schedule. Okay, that's it. Now, let me show you one thing more. Let's say that you want to have a summary task. What you can do? You can, first of all, insert task. If you want to insert task above, you can go to this task and you will say, okay, I will insert task above. And I will say that this is my summary task. Okay, I have summary task. S let's say that first, second, third task and milestone are uh, part of my summary task. How, how can I do that? I will just select all four tasks, three tasks basically and a milestone. I will right click on my mouse and I will say make subtasks. When I do that, you will see that this will be, uh, become summary task and the whole duration will be calculated. So I can do the same thing with another summary task. Let, let's say another summary, sorry, or second summary task. And I will see here that this second summary task is below my first summary task. So I should do the same thing here. I will go to these three dots. I will click on it and I will say promote subtask. So it will go left and it is no more under summary task. It is on the same level like summary task. So I have second summary task. Now I can say that I have fourth task, fifth task, sixth task. I will say here that, that, that uh, uh, this is duration four, five, six. Okay, I can remember it. See, I need a capital letter here, so sixth task. Okay, I am. I will connect them. I will say that let's say fourth task should be, begin after uh, milestone is done. So I will say milestone. Okay, now I will say fifth fifth task. Sorry for task because I cannot connect fifth task to itself. I will now say fifth task. And here I will make another milestone. So let's say milestone two. And after that, I will put duration zero. I will have that it depends on, let's say just task nine, because it's obviously that 
since task uh, fifth task be, uh, is uh, going to uh, be executed after four tasks and six after fifth, then milestone should be uh, 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 done and the whole this uh, uh, area should be finished after task uh, six tasks e task is done. So once again, I will select all those tasks, right click, make subtask. And that's it. So this is basically what you can do if you want to have a very simple schedule. But you can see that uh, uh, that you don't have a Gantt chart. You don't know if you made some mistake or not. This is the basically grid tab in which you can enter whatever you want, however you want, but you don't have graphical uh, 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 view of, uh, of this project. This will be explained in my next video. But for now on, if you want to see details of a task, whatever task it might be, you just go here, click on this detail, and you will see that this task should start at 3rd of August, should finish on uh, 4th of August, duration is two days, percentage of complete is zero, it belongs to bucket, don't ask me what the bucket is, I will show you everything of that in my next video, how many efforts are completed, remaining total, on which task, it depends how you can add dependency and you can add attachment. But for now on, this is how you can create a very simple project. Now, let me tell you one thing. If you don't need your project anymore, so if you want it to, del to delete it, what you can do? You can go to you cannot delete it from here. You can copy project link, you can add it to favorites, you can copy the whole project. I will show you that also in some of my next videos. You can rename it, you can export it to Excel, you can remove it from a list, but you cannot delete it. It's to delete your project, click on a project, click on project name, and here on the, those three dots, you will see more options. Click on those more options and click delete project. When you delete project, be aware that it is permanently deleted. So when I hit delete, I, it doesn't go to any kind of recycle bin. It is gone forever, which I am going to do now. So if you accidentally delete the project, there is no way that you can get it back. So this was video about how to create a simple project. And we are going to move on uh, with another explanation in my next video. Have a nice day.